Hello, Andy Herringshaw with Tractor Innovations. Today I'm going to be installing a hydraulic remote kit on this L3700 tractor. This is absolutely the most affordable way to get hydraulic remotes on your tractor. The kit comes with everything you see here, fully assembled valve and hoses, zip ties, all the hardware you need, a bracket to mount on the back to hold your remotes, and the thing I'm most excited about is a new bracket that allows installation on all Kubota tractors from the 90s forward with no drilling. You can absolutely just bolt it on in usually about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna show you that installation today. On the tractor, the first thing we're going to do is mount the switching valve mounting bracket. That's gonna to attach to these two bolts underneath the loader valve. 12 millimeter wrench pulls those right out. We're ready to attach our mounting bracket. Line the holes up with the bolt holes. Now be careful, one side of this is drilled at two and seven eighths inch. That's to fit this loader valve. The other side is two and three quarters inches to match the switching valve. So if the holes seem just a little narrow here, flip it around so that the holes line up perfectly. Reuse the bolts that you pulled out and tighten them with a 12 millimeter wrench. The next step is to mount the switching valve to the bracket that you mounted on the loader valve. I've pulled out the long bolts from the hardware kit, slide a washer on through the mounting hole, and on the back I've got a lock washer and nut ready to go on. Repeat that for the lower mounting hole. Tighten that with a half inch wrench. We are ready to make the hydraulic connections from the loader valve to the switching valve. Before you disconnect anything, just do one more check with the engine off, run that loader control to all four positions to make sure there's no residual pressure in the hydraulics. This customer has chosen to install the switching valve on the lift circuit. What that allows is when you shove that loader control all the way forward, it's in float. No fluid is flowing, but it allows that uh, top link, which is what he's gonna put on this kit, to drift. So if he's got a brush hog on back there, it's not gonna push down on the brush hog. It's gonna just allow it to drift. You can certainly put it on the scoop circuit if you prefer, so that would be a left and right motion to control your rear remote, either way. All right, lift circuits are white and yellow. I'm just gonna keep them forward and back as I plug them into this loader valve. So yellow is on the front. All I have to do is remove that hydraulic connection and put it right onto the switching valve and make sure that quick coupler connects all the way. Okay, the front circuit on the switching valve goes back to the front circuit on the loader valve. route my hose through here, put it in position, and the front circuit is connected. White circuit, same thing, it's on the rear of the loader valve. I'm going to get all my hoses untangled so it's just a neat install. Goes right onto the rear connection of the switching valve. Rear hose coming out of the switching valve. Goes right up here in position. Slides onto the loader valve. That's all the connections you have to make to your tractor. Now we're ready to run these remote hoses down under the floorboards up right next to the three point hitch. With a razor blade, I'm just gonna carefully snip these zip ties.
and we're going to get those hoses up out of the way of the brake pedals. I have the remote hoses run under the floorboard of the tractor, up above the axle and inside of the roll bar, right here next to the three-point hitch. Now I'm ready to open up this hardware bag and attach the breakaway coupling. This mounting is going to allow us to connect and disconnect tips to these remotes with just a push and a pull, uh, just with one hand. First piece is a mounting bar, single hole, double hole. The single hole end gets attached to the tractor. There are many mounting options, including up here to a vertical piece or a horizontal piece, whatever gives you a convenient mounting spot to connect and disconnect hoses. There's a hole in the bottom of this toolbox, which will provide a perfect mounting spot. Single hole end goes right on there. I'm going to lay out all my nuts and bolts for this mounting bracket here on the fender and the next piece is to assemble these W brackets and you'll use the smallest bolts. You can go ahead and get one side put together with nut, lock washer, and sorry bolt, lock washer and nut. And we can go ahead and slide it onto these Remotes, quick couplers. All right, a very important piece here. You need to leave the outer sleeve of these quick couplers sticking out of each side of the bracket about a quarter inch. That lets it sit right in the right groove and grip it really well. If you have these sitting off to the outside, it's not going to allow that inner sleeve to slide like that to allow for connection and disconnection. You can go ahead and tighten up these W brackets with a 7 16 wrench. Just get those tight enough to hold onto these quick couplers. If you tighten all the way, it might be hard to slide it onto that mounting bar. So we are ready now to get it right up on that mounting bar. Drop in your bolts with a locking washer and nut on the bottom. We need to mount the knob onto the valve kit. It screws right in here to the front. And to get it tight, we need to be able to grip this barrel cylinder. So a pair of vice grips, grabbing on the very outer end of the back of this does a great job of holding it still. Do not grab in here where it will be sliding into the body. Grab outside where that metal, if you get just a little crease in it won't hurt anything. All right, that knob is on with a lock washer. It's tight. In and out changes whether you're controlling the loader or the remotes. Just that easy. There you have it. The quickest and most affordable way to add remote hydraulics to your tractor with installation as quick as 15 minutes. Today we installed it on a Kubota, but I build these kits for New Holland, John Deere, Mahindra, and other brands of tractors as well. Check out the link right below here to go directly to my website. The parts we use are made in the USA, the valves in Minnesota, hoses made in the USA, and these brackets from right here in Muskogee, Oklahoma. So check out my link right below here in the description to go to my website for more information and to order. Thanks for watching.